Hey people, Scott here again. Um, we're going to do uh, my essential Black Sabbath albums um, with different singers to Aussie. Um, now I've just done a video with the Aussie albums, Black Sabbath. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be with the other singers. There was Ronnie James Dio. There was Ian Gillen, there was Ray Gillen, um, there's Tony Martin, and uh, yeah, that was that was all the singers. Um, oh, sorry, Glenn Hughes as well, um, which I haven't got the Glenn Hughes album, so you're gonna have to um, bear with me on that one. But. Um, I would stick it, I'd probably stick it at number 10 anyway, the Glenn Hughes one, um, sorry Glenn if you're watching this, probably not, but um, it might have come in at number 9, because there's an album that I really don't like, um, that they did with Tony Martin, um, and it is going to be my number nine or ten so here we go and it's this one forbidden a couple of good songs on here that's about it um don't like it and the fact that ice tea was uh featured on um i think it's illusion of power and uh, just oh just made me cringe um yeah love the artwork on the front um that's really good. Um, standout track on this would be Kiss of Death. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I Won't Cry For You. Uh, that's about it. Came out in 1995. This, uh, I've not really listened to the Seven Star album with Glenn Hughes. Probably one song. Um, I've never really classed it as a Black Sabbath album, so I've never picked it up. So, um, I can't say if this one's number 10 or the other one. Please let me know what you think, if this one's better than the Glenn Hughes one. Uh, that'd be cool. So, that one's at the bottom of my pile. So, let me stick that at the bottom of the pile. Um, up there. Right. Um, next album is... Uh, got some really good tracks on it I don't know why I've put it here it should be um, the next one down so this is number eight on my list and I do really yeah the, actually no I'll leave it there number eight cross purposes um, that's not a defect to the screen on from that's the case it's seen better days um, yeah, amazing tracks on this, Cross of Thorns, um, Immaculate Deception, Dying for Love, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, um, Evil Eye, amazing album, um, came out in 1994, if you compare this to Forbidden, this is 100 times better, um, but yeah, this is with Tony Martin, amazing vocalist, um, just not... Aussie really but you know still really good for that era so go out and buy that still up there um, then there's an, the next one number seven on my list uh, is another Tony Cat the uh, Tony Martin album that's TYR I can't even don't even know how you pronounce it so I just call it TYR um, I love the tracks on here um, Anno Monday, um, Sabbath Stones, uh, Feels Good to Me, Heaven in Black, yeah, really good. Um, I was a bit like, should I put that one before um, Cross Purposes? Maybe I should have, um, but this, you know, this came out in 1990, this is a still really good album. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, next one. Oh, 
that there in the right place. That can go on the floor. Ooh. Right, next one. Um, it's going to be number seven, sorry, six, born again. And this is with Ian Gillen. Um, there's a few tracks on here I really like on here. Um, Disturbing the Priest was the first one of Ian Gillen's I heard singing on, uh, for Black Sabbath. Um, Zero the Hero is my favourite song on here. Um, La, uh, Born Again, awesome. Um, yeah, this is completely different to normal Oz, uh, to normal Sabbath, but there's some scary shit on here as well. So, um, yeah, and if you listen to Zero the Hero's riff, uh, it's just like awesome. And uh, there's the back of it. This is the original LP from 1983. Um, so we're on to number five, uh, and it's a Tony Martin album, and it's a Headless Cross, and uh, yeah, Headless Cross, awesome track. Um, Devil and Daughter, When Death Calls is awesome. Um, Black Moon is awesome, and Nightwing is my favourite as well. From 1989, this one. This is a reissue that came through the Classic Rock series. Um, it's quite hard to get hold of the original, so. And people are asking silly money for the originals anyway, so this was uh, really good. Um, next one is uh, another Tony Martin version of Black Sabbath, Eternal Idol. And this was the first album to have Tony Martin on. Um, originally, it was going to be Ray Gillen. Um, but yeah, this is uh, really cool. Um, standout tracks on this is The Shining, uh, Hard Life to Love, I l love that. Um, Lost Forever, it's um, really cool. And uh, this is the deluxe edition CD that came out in 2010. Obviously the album came out in 1987 and uh, this has actually got the Ray Gillen sessions on there. So you can listen to the songs with Ray Gillen singing. So that's worth going out and buying. That's Tony Martin. So yeah. Absolutely killer. Um, love listening to that in my car. So that's that one. Um, number four. I think I missed one. We're number four now. Four. Sorry, this is going to have to be... Yeah, this is number three. Yeah, that one was number four. Silly twit. I am. <laughs> right. So, number three on my list of Black Sabbath albums. Somewhat, you might have seen that. Is The Mob Rules with Ronnie James Dio. The last album, or last studio album with Ronnie James Dio um, from 1981 and uh, standout tracks on this are Turn Up The Night, Sign of the Southern Cross, The Mob Rules, Falling Off The Edge Of The World and uh, yeah really good really cool album and I'm sh I know there's a lot of people out there that probably like this the best when you get up to the last, uh, the top three, it's really difficult to choose. Um, right, number two. What should we go for? I've got all the poll ready there, so. Um, number two, let's see if I can annoy some people with this. Dehumanizer. Uh, see, you like it, really. Now, this is one killer album. Came out in 1992. Um, 
absolutely amazing. Oh, this is, do you know what, right? I'd actually choose this for number one um, because I just, it's the riffs on it, the, because I like guitars and stuff, electric guitars and stuff, the riffs on this are amazing. Um, so, Computer Guard, um, TV Crimes, um, Letters from the Earth, Time Machine, um, Too Late, uh, Master of Insanity, they are just m really awesome and I remember when that CD came out in 1992 watching the videos and I was just like my god Ronnie James Dio was awesome uh, singing that and Tony Iommi's riffing was awesome as well and I love the artwork that is a really cool picture on there um, but yeah absolutely amazing go out and buy that that's a must um, and then have you guessed which is number one oh, hide that are you ready are you ready for this this is my number one and I'm sure a lot of you out there will know what album it is um, and it is heaven and hell first album to feature Ronnie James Dio and uh, the best one uh, yeah the best one really um, and it came out in 1980 standout tracks uh, Neon Knights, Children of the Sea, Lady Evil, Hel Heaven and Hell Die Young uh, absolutely awesome album and uh, yeah Lady Evil was probably my favourite um, It's just, you know, and look at that cool artwork on the back. This is the original LP from 1980 from Vertigo. Just the dog's bollocks, I mean balonies. So, go out and buy this if you don't already have it. Um, otherwise, go out and buy Dio albums because they are fucking awesome as well but this is you know number one for a reason and uh, rest in peace Dio and uh, keep checking out my other videos um, oh there is one other thing quickly just want to show you and uh, most Black Sabbath fans will probably have this if you're not a Black Sabbath fan but you like Dio Right, and you haven't got this, go out and buy it because it's a live album. The artwork's amazing. Um, it's not the best live album in the world, but it is. If you're a Dio fan, you have to have this. Um, this came out in 1982, and uh, here it is. And it's a lot of the uh, classic Black Sabbath songs, as, along with. Um, stuff from Heaven and Hell and the Mob Rules. So, and this is the la uh, the last album of the '80s that featured um, Ronnie James Dio in Black Sabbath. So, yeah, you must go out and buy all of them. Right, cheers. Keep rocking to the Sabbath. See you later.